everyone thanks for coming back and this here is my vanity mirror with lights i'm so excited to finally have this video up this here is my vanity area where i do my makeup and record my videos here is a close-up shot of the vanity mirror that you guys will be seeing a little later on of me making and it is controlled by a remote control so i'll just Take the remote and click it and voila how beautiful it's so cool so convenient and i just love it. and also go check out my homegirl glam star yes she also has a diy video of how she did her vanity mirror with lights hers is like a different alternative that you can take with less steps and without the extra space at the bottom so please go check out her video it is lovely and very detailed and also this is my ottoman that i made i will leave a link down below of how i made this ottoman it was really cheap and cost me little of nothing and this is with fur it is so soft so yes check out that link down below to see how i made that ottoman that's with my vanity and that is the mom table from ikea as well so guys i will be doing a giveaway and the giveaway is going to be of this mirror so i will leave a link down below of my giveaway and all of the requirements and the dates and everything that needs to be done to enter and have a chance to win this beautiful handmade vanity mirror with lights controlled by a remote control so yes i'm so excited and i just can't wait to give back to my subscribers i love you guys so let's get into this DIY of how I made this vanity mirror, okay? Okay, you're going to need your wood, your vanity bars, paint, paint brushes, spray paint, your mirror, screwdriver, screws, safety glasses, wood filler, drill bit, electrical tape, tape measure, your dimmer, your plug in and you're also going to need scissors and your lights that's everything you will need and also use a different dimmer as well okay these are the bar lights that i'm using it's the six bar lights i got it from lowe's so here i'm just taking it out of the packaging and it comes with caps and screws you're going to keep those caps and you're going to need those and here i'm just taking it out of the plastic and pulling the caps off they just pull right off and that's what secure the light into place really so i'm just taking a screw to detach it and you're not going to need that side so you just disregard it and doing the same thing to the other side taking it off okay here i'm just measuring out my wood where the holes need to be laid so i'm just showing you just want to take your time to measure jar everything to get your measurements correct yeah, I just like to measure top and bottom and then I flip it over and make sure I have enough room on the edges and then I start to trace out my circles and then it's going to look like this so then I'm going to do the same thing to the middle piece but you want to make sure it's even so I lay it out so that the top bars are even with each other and just measuring again and I'm going to draw out my circles for the three bar and you want to do the same thing to the other side of the bar making sure everything is even just to double check every single time all right and now we're going to go ahead and use our drill and this is by black and decker and we're using a spade that is one and three eighths so that's the best size don't go any larger or any smaller it makes a difference so here i'm just drilling my holes and since I don't have help, I just put my leg on it just to drill it. And this is around the time that it takes. Um, you do want to put a little force into it to get it all the way through. So I didn't need Okay, so I'm speeding it up and you're just going to drill through all of the holes. Okay. 
and that's the smaller bar draw those holes as well and sometimes you can rip it which is okay if you do you just put your wood filler in it it's coming outside of it but as you can see mine is not because i flipped it over to the better side to the other side <laughs> so here i'm just i'm going to glue mine first because i don't have any help holding the wood while i drill it together so here I'm just going at first just for, you know, extra security as well. So I glue it. Let that sit once I have those in place. Then I'm going to spray paint my caps. I want it white. Sometimes people leave them silver. Um, you can leave it silver. It's more of a preference. I just make mine white. So I just spray paint them all around. And now I'm got and ready to drill the screws into where I start to glue the frame just to get it together. So I'm going to drill and I put about four screws in it, one at each end and then two in the middle. That's what you see me doing here. And then I'm going to put my middle piece once I have both sides done and I'm going to glue that at the top and then we're going to put a top piece screw that together which is going to secure it more so that middle piece isn't going to budge so here i'm just creating my box and making my frame okay and to get the middle cubby piece we're going to just glue it and then secure it underneath so it won't slide through and then with the gorilla glue it won't budge so that's how i get the cubby piece and here you see me this is primer so i'm actually priming my wood first using the roller um, here i'm just going all around make sure you get every single side you don't have to do the inside though but you do want to do the inside at the bottom and this is wood filler so any kind of cracks you just want to fill it in so to make your frame just seamless so you just want to make sure you can't see any cracks or anything and i also do it where i screw the nails on the side just to make my side seamless as well okay and now you see me painting the frame since i already primed it i'm now going over with two layers of paint and this is the gloss paint so they can have like a nice shine i'm going to do the top and then here I'm placing my mirror, just making sure I have it even on both sides. And then I go under with some hot glue. And then I tape it as well. And I also use some Gorilla tape, but you can't see it just for extra security. And now I'm putting in the bar lights. Okay, now using the extension cord, we're going to cut off the top part and split it. So that's how you want to pull it apart to expose the wire. And I pull enough about for pinky link. And then you want to just go around it, but not too much, just to go through the rubber and not the wire. So you have to do that, and then you will be able to, like, pull it off. See, it just come right off to expose the wire. And you want about that much exposed. So you want to do that to both sides and make three of them. So two on two each ends and one with the plug. So you should have three pieces for your wiring. So here we're going to start with the wiring and you have to match the white with the groove side. You will see what groove side I'm talking about once you actually look at the extension cord if you don't know. So then you want to just wrap your wire around it nice and firm. And then you want to take the black and put it with the smooth side. And I just kind of twist it a little bit together. And then I wrap the extra wire from the extension cord around the small one, which comes from the bar light. And then you want to take a cap and put your cap on it just to secure and close off the wire. So you don't have any exposed wire. And put your cap on both of them. Okay, now going to the second bar, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take the white from the second bar and take the groove side from the first bar that we just connected and take the groove side from the other side that you're going to connect to the third one and tie them all together and place a cap on it. You're going to do the same thing for the black. Take the black from the second bar and then take the two wiring, which are smooth sides, and put them two together. So you see we have three pieces. And we're just going to line 
two, three from your boring, your two extension cords, and you're just going to twist them two together, and then add your cap on, and going over to the third bar, you're going to do the same thing from your white. I'm going to take your groove side and your groove side from the extension cord that goes on the wall, and do the same thing with the black. So you have your first bar that's going to connect to the second bar, your second bar is going to connect to the first bar and the third bar, and your third bar is going to connect to the second and the plug-in. So, okay, now we're going to go ahead and tape off our caps. This is just for extra security. I want to make sure there's no exposed wire, so I'm taking it right around the base of the cap to the bottom and then bringing it back up to secure the electrical tape. And you want to do that on every single one of them. Okay, so I'm just finishing up all of them so I don't have any exposed wires. Alright, and so now you see me just putting the caps on and the light bulbs. Get all those in so we can test out our wires and how I'm controlling my remote is with a wireless handheld transmitter which is basically what people use for Christmas lights and stuff like that so I'm just plugging my extension cord into it and plugging the wall in before you get started you want to pull that tab off because if not your remote will not work so pull that off and let's go ahead and see voila yes so thank you guys for watching this is my vanity mirror with lights that i made all by myself constructed all by myself so yes guys definitely try this mirror and let me know how it works out for you send me some pictures thank you guys for watching bye hope you enjoyed hmm? Thanks for coming back. And this here is my vanity mirror with lights. I'm so excited to finally have this video up. This here is my vanity area where I do my makeup and record my videos. Here is a close-up shot of the vanity mirror that you guys will be seeing a little later on of me making. And it is controlled by a remote control. So I'll just take the remote and click it and voila how beautiful it's so cool so convenient and i just love and also go check out my homegirl glam star yes she also has a diy video of how she did her vanity mirror with lights hers is like a different alternative that you can take with less steps and without the extra space at the bottom so please go check out her video it is lovely and very detailed and also this is my ottoman that i made 